Now, two weeks after running out of episodes, the cast of EastEnders returned to filming this week. Well, Max Bowden, who plays Ben Mitchell in the soap, and he's been using his time off, actually, to film a virtual play while theatres remain closed. It's a brilliant idea. He joins us now. It's lovely to see you, Max. How are you? Lovely to see you too, Lorraine. Yeah, I'm oh, OK. How are you, darling? Good. I'm fine, I'm fine, I'm fine. This is such a good idea. Um, it really is. I just wonder, though, because um, Birdsong, I loved, loved, loved the book. It's just an incredible story. How on earth did you manage to do that? Were you all in your own houses filming it? How did it work? It was amazing. I mean, it, it, it started an um, original theatre company who I worked with uh, five years ago um, on Birdsong. Um, and they've been on the road several times with the production. They they were kind of looking for ways, you know, while, whilst theatre's down, there's so many restrictions with what they can do, looking for ways to keep their business alive. And, and they decided, you know, the 1st of July today commemorates the 104th anniversary of the song. Um, so they decided to kind of get together and, and build this virtual production of Birdsong, the show that they put out for so long and, did, you know, was such a success. Um, so it's um, it's been a real joy and I'm, I'm really, really proud of how it's come out. It's quite remarkable what you can do. I mean, the creativity is extraordinary that you can actually put on a show like this, you know, a show about World War One and about people's relationships and people going through all of that, with all of you filming it in your own in your own house. Yeah, I know. I mean, they, yeah, it's it's amazing. I mean, people were were kind of wielding um, guns around around London to bring them to to, to make costumes up and and um, you know it was it was it was fascinating. We all had green screens. We've done everything you know, everything on the back of a green screen in our own bedrooms. And, and it's, it's, I mean, it's, it's really amazing how much work has gone into this and it's made lockdown so much more enjoyable. Of course, because you can, you can be working, you can be doing what you want to be doing. I mean, you starred yeah. in that production of Birdsong, didn't you? You starred in that, was that not, it must be about, what, five years ago now? Just before you yes, went it was into a, his a very, a very, a very baby-faced me, Lorraine. Oh. It, was, it was, yeah, many moons ago now, yeah. But oh, yeah, it was, it, that's lovely to be back. It absolutely is. And, and that was just, like I said, just before you went into EastEnders. And now, of course, you're back. Have you actually been back on set? Have you been working? Yes. Yeah. yeah. Um, we were, um, I was back back yesterday. It was it was definitely daunting. It was, um, I felt a bit rusty, if anything. Uh, <laughs> but no, it was, it was, uh, it was lovely. I, I had, you know, I got to see, got to see Tony. And, and I think the creatives and the whole team have done a phenomenal job in, in making everything safe. I felt safer there than, than I did, um, you know, going to the supermarket, which yeah. I think is is such a, a, a testament to, to the work that they put in to make this work. Um, they've done brilliantly. No, absolutely. And it means that we will get more episodes, which, of course, is what everybody wants. Um, what's yeah. going to happen to Ben? Oh, you can't really tell me, and don't tell me, but actually, he was supposed to be left it when he had the collapse. He was supposed to be getting treatment for his hearing loss. And, you know, yeah. it's, not, it's not looking good. That was the last time we saw you. Well, no, exactly, yeah. I mean, we've got to think... Um, He's, he's, he's not had an easy ride since the 35th anniversary, has he? So um, I think Ben's head's been all over the place. And, and now to, to kind of encompass that with a, with a three-month lockdown, um, he's, he's certainly going to... Um certainly going to be in a, in a worse for wear state. So I'm, I'm hoping for more positives in, with Ben. We would like to hope so. Now, yeah. obviously with the character, and, and you were not just doing bird song and, you know, and, and waiting to get back to work, of course, but learning sign language as well. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, Rose, who's um, Rose, who just come in uh, to play to play Frankie, who's phenomenal. She actually sent me when um, when we first went into lockdown this online course of um, of sign language to just kind of keep me going um, because Ben in, in in the character didn't really want to. He was so against the idea yes. of being deaf. But that was that was the beauty of telling the story was was to kind of have that oxymoron. I can understand, yeah, of course, and, and that's a brilliant, what a brilliant skill to have. It's a great thing to learn. That's the thing about being an actor, you learn so many things. Yeah, <laughs> but you really do, it's, it's quite remarkable yeah. that, that, that you never in a, in a million years would you, would you learn in any, in any other job, I guess. Exactly, it's a gift, yeah, it really it, is. It is, it is. We saw, you there, we saw you there very briefly with Steve McFadden, and I remember the last time we talked, um, you two appeared in Panto a long time ago, <laughs> didn't you, when yes. you were just a baby. Yeah, yeah, many moons ago. Yeah, I think I think it was my first kind of real taste of acting. So, um, so Steve will take credit for that one, I'm sure. Yeah, it's strange, <laughs> isn't it? How it's, it's such a it's such a strange way that, that that comes a big full circle, and there you are working together on you know one of the biggest shows shows on telly. We also talked when son. you were in. We talked about your gran. 
you know, your nan, and you were taking her to the SOAP Awards. Now, yeah. have you been able to see her properly? Well, not properly, obviously. Um, uh, I mean, we, we speak every day. I think we probably had two rows a day. Um, she's, um, <laughs> <laughs> she's, uh, she, she, I think she's getting very irritable because she just, you know, my nan's a socialite. Um, she loves being out. But I've, I've been to the bottom of the drive and we've kind of waved and virtual hugged. But um, oh. no, I mean, you know, it's, 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 it's a hard time for everyone, isn't it? You, you miss being able to cuddle your loved ones. And, um, but, you know, we're, 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 it will go back to normal one day and, and we're just waiting for that day and I can't wait. Exactly. And meanwhile, meanwhile, you're doing things to try and, well, basically save theatre because so many people have been, are so concerned about this. And it's not just about, you know, it's not just about sort of the elite going to the West End, you know, or going to Broadway. Mm. There's theatres all over the country and they are at the heart of the community. And it would be such, oh, it'd be dreadful if they were to close down. I mean, it would be, it'd be scandalous. It would, Lorraine. And, and you know, we're, we're seeing some of the some of the biggest venues in the UK struggling at the moment, um, and and you know Theatre Royal Plymouth for for, for one um, to, to to mention, and and I think we, that's that's what's so great about this project is is that if we as if we as a nation can get behind the arts that that funds so much to the country, um, then I think I think we can save it. But it's at the moment it's it's looking unsalv um, salvageable, and and you know it's worrying. It is worrying. It, it really is. It really is. Especially if you want to be, you know, if you want to be cold-headed about it, which politicians often are, brings in such a lot of money to the country. That's the thing. You know, it's it's not. Yeah. You know, this is obviously, of course, some certain sections need to be sponsored and funded, but generally bring a lot of money in, which is crazy. Well, look, we've got the nearest thing. We've got the next thing to being at the theatre in Birdsong, which is going to be available online from tonight. Yeah. Tonight, yeah, seven pm. Seven Fantastic. pm tonight for a seventy-two hour window. Excellent. Well, listen, thank you so, so much for joining us this morning. It's great Ray. to see you. Lovely that you're back at work. And uh, Birdsong, this, do you know what? It'll be even more emotional, I think, this production. I can't wait to see it. Can't wait to see it tonight. Oh, thank you. Thank you Thanks, so, so Ray. much. Thank you. See you soon.